Hello and welcome back to my channel or of course if you're new welcome how are y'all doing today hope hopefully you're doing good because I am <laughs> all right so I know that the um the NBA finals just wrapped up and you know it was a little bit I mean I don't really know much about basketball so I don't really know what to say I wasn't really going for any team in particular I was just watching it watch it because that's what girlfriends do but um my boyfriend was telling me about this video that he found so that's what i'm gonna be watching today basically the video is about this like allegedly haunted hotel that like the opposing like basketball teams have to stay at the night before they play um okc <laughs> so I mean, I like scary stuff, so I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I mean, it's not like I'm not gonna watch it. So yeah, let's see how haunted, how haunted this place is. <laughs> this is the story of the Skirvin Hotel in Oklahoma City, <laughs> a supposed haunted hotel where opposing NBA teams stay the night at before a game well, against like a nice the Thunder. Hotel. Players who fly to Oklahoma City to play against the Thunder and stay in the Skirvin Hotel have talked about seeing furniture move, doors slammed shut on their own, and have heard voices. Stop. Like some hotels, they also have a bed bug problem that <laughs> kept Kyrie Irving from finishing a game against the Thunder last year. He had to leave the game early because he got bit by bed bugs the night before. Just imagine how freaked out you'd be if you saw freaking five big ass bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the bed bugs are enough to make me like, why? Like, why are they like required to stay at this i mean i guess of me if the nba's like paying for it or like whoever's paying for it i guess and put bed bugs that's that's a deal breaker like what? <laughs> what like are they trying to sabotage the other team the origin of the Sturman. Sturman hotel story goes back to the early 1900s about a maid named effie who had a child with the hotel's owner, W.B. Skirvin. To protect <laughs> his reputation Skirvin. and avoid a scandal in the news, Skirvin locked her in a room in the 10th floor where Effie lost her mind being trapped and went crazy. She eventually would throw herself and the baby out the hotel window. Oh There's a God. bunch of interviews, so let's go through what NBA players have said when they go to this hotel. Karam Butler, he played for a number of teams, including the Heat and the Thunder, said everybody knows about her, referring to Effie. Back in 2014, Jeff Ayers of the Spurs said, I get to my room and my key doesn't work, but it sounds like there's somebody in my Stop. room. Like I hear a little baby, not crying, but making noise. Ayers also said teammates heard kids and babies running down the hallway, even though none of the players brought their kids to the hotel room. Even Tim Duncan has confirmed this story. Duncan said, I heard a baby in his room. There was somebody or something in his room. Yeah, I definitely heard something. Justice Winslow said when he was taking a shower at the hotel, he saw the bathroom door nope. open up on its nope. own. Nope, 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 nope. That's like fear number five on my list of fears. No, that is so scary. Like when I'm in the shower, <laughs> like I know you've seen the horror movies. That is like my worst nightmare. Somebody walking in the bathroom while you're taking a shower. Like, stop, stop. Like, I I don't think I could stay, no. <laughs> like, he had to deal with bugs and roaches in the room. Ew. When Taj Gibson was on the Bulls, <sighs> he said his bathroom door at the Skirvin Hotel closed itself on its own. Gibson said he tries not to believe the ghost stories, but it was a weird feeling for him actually witnessing the bathroom slam itself shut. Yeah, that same that's night, Derrick Rose stayed in James Johnson's room because he was so scared of seeing a ghost or hearing a noise. James Johnson is a black belt, so he felt safe with him. <laughs> Rose said, me and JJ heard some stuff in the hallway last night. We didn't say anything about it last night, but we heard some stuff. Nope. Okay, remember that Spurs story with Jeff Ayers and Tim Duncan? Let's go back to that. Ime Udoka, who played for the Kings and Spurs, he's an assistant coach for the Spurs right now, says he's not the type of guy to make up BS and says he has heard similar things like Duncan and Ayers. Same sounds, kids in the hallway. I remember hearing voices and looking out the peephole and nobody's mm. out there. Nope. Greg Popovich never heard of the hotel stories until he was out of Oklahoma City that night in 2014. Pop said, oh, ghosts are scared of me like everybody else. 
Luckily, nobody said anything to me until we left. I would have hid under the bed probably. Back in 2012, Jordan Hamilton, who played for the Nuggets, said this hotel creeps me out every time we stay here. Oh Back in gosh. 2013, when Wesley Johnson played for the Phoenix Suns, he said he woke up and found his bathroom door closed and his tub filled with water. Meta World Peace, used to be known as Ron Artest, talked about the hotel just this past season and says a ghost touched him while he was watching a movie. Meta said, the ghosts were all over me. I just accepted it. They touched me all over the place. <laughs> I'm taking one of the ghosts to court for touching me in the wrong places. Former oh, ESPN writer and ESPN TV analyst Bill Simmons, here's a quote from a story he wrote back in 2010. At first, I heard a baby crying and realized that's why I woke up. I thought it was one of my own kids before remembering that my kids weren't babies anymore, then remembering that I was in Oklahoma City mm. and not Los Angeles. I had an nah. overpowering sensation that someone else was in the room. Until you've experienced that feeling, you can't understand what it's like. Your blood is swishing through your mm -hmm. veins at 200 miles per hour, only you don't understand why. Your body reacts a few seconds before your brain yeah, does. Yeah, that's crazy. Sean Marion, an NBA <laughs> champion who played on a number of great teams, said he heard about the haunted hotel stories and heard some noises one night, but he never went to check. Back in January Why 2010, the New York Knicks stayed at the Skirvin Hotel the night before a game in Oklahoma City. The next day, the Knicks lost 106 to 88 to the Thunder, and some players on the Knicks blamed the loss because they couldn't sleep the night before. Eddie mm. Curry, who was staying on the 10th floor, the same floor mm -hmm. where Effie threw herself out the hotel window, says he slept for only two hours the night before the game because he couldn't stop thinking about ghosts roaming the hotel. He stayed and went to sleep in Nate Robinson's room because he was so scared of seeing the ghosts. Oh now, gosh. the hotel denies all of these stories. They've told staff not to speak on the rumors and the management won't speak on the myths or the legends. And according to the hotel, there is no evidence that Effie ever existed. The Skirvin family said that the owner did have a mistress, but she lived longer than him and she couldn't possibly be Effie since Effie died long before him, supposedly. Yeah. What do you guys think? Would you stay in that hotel or is it BS? That's a good amount of NBA players who have said yeah. they heard and something Yeah, and like why weird, would they lie? Saw the door get shut, heard baby noises, felt creeped out, or unfortunately like Kyrie got hit with the bed bug. <laughs> Next video, I'm going to be talking about some NBA records that a player broke, so be on the lookout for that. A little different type of video before game two of the finals. If you made it this far to the video, leave a like or Effie will haunt you in your sleep. Stop. I'll see you don't guys even. Don't video. play like that. Whoa. Whoa. Like, what? That's insane. I mean, and the fact that they, like, have to stay there. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I don't know. Like, I would want to, like, spend the night there just to see what happens. But I, I would believe them. I don't think they're lying about, like, why would that many people lie about something like that? And they're, all the stories are the same. <sighs> That's nerve wracking. But now I wanna go, I wanna see, I wanna experience it. <laughs> but not the bed bugs or the roaches or whatever else they said was, mm mm, that, nope. They can, they can keep that part. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time wow 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 when i with you all i get is wild thoughts wow 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 when i with you all i get